earlier this morning, my friend Tammy and I were talking. We were talking about our own personal health and fitness and personal growth journey. And she asked me, she was like, what was your breaking point? And I've shared this before publicly, but I don't think that I shared enough. And oftentimes people can look at somebody like myself who is living a healthy lifestyle and assume that it was always this way for me. And it wasn't, I wasn't always confident. I wasn't always fit. I wasn't always healthy. And I wasn't always um, positive minded. So for me, I avoided health and fitness because for me, I grew up in a household where my parents were always dieting. They were always arguing about it, and it was a sign that you need to lose weight. It wasn't about health, it was about losing weight. And I was, I guess, genetically blessed where I had a really strong metabolism when I was younger. I had an athletic build. I definitely wasn't fit. I definitely wasn't healthy. But I also, because of that, I never participated in any type of exercise because I didn't think I needed to lose any weight. I wasn't allowed to participate in school activities, meaning sports or cheerleading or anything that would um, grow my coordination, my fitness level. And so I avoided that because I wasn't good at it and I was embarrassed and I was um, embarrassed of making a fool out of myself. And it wasn't until I had my first kid at 18, my second kid at 22, and then my third child at almost 30 that I finally decided that I was going to get serious about this, that I was going to actually make the changes. I didn't really know what to do. But when I had all three of my kids, I had made the decision to breastfeed and I guess with my metabolism and I ate super healthy every time I was um, breastfeeding because I knew that that was what was needed to produce, you know, milk and to make sure that my children stayed healthy. So I ate really healthy, breastfed, lost all my weight. And um, when I had my son, I realized that the weight didn't come off as fast the second time as the first time. And I assumed that almost at 30 um, and having my third kid, it wouldn't come off as fast either. And so I was really, really healthy minded the whole time I was pregnant. I walked, I ate super healthy. I cut out processed foods, I cut out sodas, I cut out anything bad. Um, and when I um, went in to be induced, I had gained 28 pounds. And so by the time I went back for my six week checkup, I had lost it all. And so I did not feel great about my body. I felt like a big jiggly, jello -y mess, but I looked back like I did before for the most part in clothes. Um, and then my life was great. And then it did what it seems to happen to everybody. Everything's going great. And then boom, something knocks you on your ass. And so when my son was six months old, kind of, we hit this fork in the road of where our life was going. We didn't know where our life was going. We had n no, um, goals set and we weren't really communicating well. And my husband and I almost uh, divorced and, um, you know, I filed paperwork at the court and we were just in a bad place. And instead of dealing with it, instead of figuring it out, because we didn't have those tools instilled in us as children and as broken adults, we certainly didn't know what to do. So what we did was we drank and 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 we drank until things were such a mess that we didn't know what to do. And financially things started to go downhill. Um, I had gotten fired when I was on maternity leave. Uh, my husband sold his part of the business and we were kind of living in limbo. And then he decided to take a job out of town. And I, in a way it kind of saved us because it gave us distance. Um, and then when he came home, all we did was fight. But at one point I, I had lost all my weight and I was back to where I was, uh, my ideal weight of like 137. I don't know why that number six, but that's the number I always seem to get to and I feel good at. Um, and then whenever he went out of town to work, he was gone five, six, seven days at a time home for two or three, um, on nights, on days, flip flopping back and forth, never knew anything. I was stuck basically being a single mom during that time. I had three kids in three different schools. I had an 18 month old and a kid in, um, elementary school and a kid in middle school and I didn't have any friends all my friends had ditched me um, I just felt so helpless and out of control and so when the kids went to bed I drank when my husband came home we fought and we drank um, and while he was gone um, I was getting home at six o'clock in the evening relying on my girls to get off the bus and get everything started so we spent a lot of our um, eating uh, eating processed food, box food, seeing things that were fast and simple and easy. And next thing I knew, I weighed as much as I weighed when I was pregnant with my son. And I was like, this is insane. And I remember that before my husband 
went to work out of town I started to notice I was gaining some weight so I bought this ab DVD especially made for moms tried it thought I was gonna die and really looking back just doing the same exercise video over and over and over again that was really only targeting one Part of your body was not going to be my answer and then I went to Pinterest like a lot of people do it I'm like I'll just do it on my own I don't want to ask for help I don't have time to go to the gym I don't have money for a trainer and so then I did stuff um, on Pinterest so my husband was like outside or gone I would hurry up and do this like five minute workout and like literally it was like do like 50 jumping jacks and 50 burpees and stuff and like if somebody who had no fitness level like that didn't help build up any confidence it didn't help build up any strength um, and I just felt defeated and I didn't see any results but I mean doing those little things we're not really going to yield results, especially when I was drinking all the time, eating processed foods, not eating correctly. Um, so I remember like wanting a solution and like everything that I seemed to turn to felt like I couldn't do it. I couldn't afford it. I didn't have the time. I was too embarrassed. I had no self-confidence, all these different things that were like, no, 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 no. And then I woke up one day and it was one of those days where I was tired. I felt horrible. My body ached. My head hurt. I couldn't focus. Uh, I would get so lightheaded and dizzy all the time. And I just felt like shit. And I remember thinking like, I'm 30 years old. Like, is this the way I'm supposed to feel? And I put on a dress and it was a dress that I had bought, um, earlier that spring. And here it was, um, November. And I put this dress on and it was cold then, so I had leggings on because um, it gets super cold in Texas. Like there's super, like major humidity in the air, so 30 degrees feels like 20 degrees. Um, so I was cold. And I remember the dress fit really snugly, but when I was getting ready in the morning, I mean, remember I had three kids to get to three different schools and to be work on time, and I lived 20 minutes from town. Um, so it was craziness. So I remember getting to work and sitting down and being like, whoa, this is tight. Like when I wore it over the summer, it wasn't tight. And now I had leggings on. And you know, the one size fits all, elastic waistband. I mean like leggings and the sweatpants are like the best out outfit for somebody who's gaining weight. I sat down and I remember there was like three rolls. Like, hanging underneath the, the waistband, uh, rolling over it, and I sat down and I just saw these rolls and I had never had them before and I was like, oh my God. And I started thinking like, the weight gain started slowly happening and I didn't know what to do. And I remember that day I went to use the restroom and the same thing happened when I pulled my leggings off, sorry TMI, then there was like fat rolls sitting on my lap and I was like, oh my God. And I was like, my son is almost 18 months old I had lost all the weight after I had him. There is no way that this could be baby weight. I mean, sure, I could tell people, but really, it's hard to lie to yourself. I mean, and it's even harder to lie to other people for me. So I was like, what can I do? And literally, I just kept racking my brain and racking my brain and thinking like, God, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so unhappy. And at the, sa at the same time, my life was just in a shambles. I was hitting rock bottom for the millionth time. And so that's when a stranger appeared in my Facebook news feed that loved fitness, had abs, and she had two sons that were a little bit older than my kiddo. And I was like, wait, real people can have this? Like, and she works and she has two kids that were back to back and she loves working out. And that's when I started like following her. When I, I started like looking at her lifestyle and thinking like, I can do this. She made it seem believable. She made it seem attainable and feel like, she made me feel like, I could have that life too. And so I stalked her silently for a couple days. And I asked her a few questions and then she invited me to join her. I was like, oh God, like I, I, I remember she asked me, do, do you need some help with your health and fitness? I was like, no, 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 no. And that was such a fucking lie because I needed all the help and I needed it from her. And I was so scared. I was so scared, scared to take a chance on myself. Uh, and more than anything, it's like I was afraid of failure, but going to someone who I didn't know who's a stranger. She happened to live in Miami, like 1400 miles from me. And I was like, well, I, I can work with this person because like, she doesn't know me. Like, and if it doesn't work out, I will never see her. And that turned out to be the best thing I could do is leaning into the support of somebody who was unbiased, who literally was hundred percent honest with me and helped me. Like she didn't know me. She didn't, wasn't lying to me to make me feel better. She was straight up with me. And, and to this day, 
now we are best friends and she's always completely honest with me and she's still helping lead me to what I wanted to get fit and feel good about myself above anything she wants me to do that and so that's something that I share so if you've been watching my videos if you've been watching my stories you've been watching my posts liking them or or silently stalking like it's time like it's fucking time for you to make the decision like I can help you because I was that person people don't realize it but i was that person and i still remember what it feels like to be that person and i want to help people because i remember that moment when i felt good when i woke up feeling as good as i was going to feel all day long i didn't have to wait for coffee to kick in i didn't have to live on aspirin i didn't have to live on tylenol and advil pm i didn't have to drink myself into super i remember that feeling and feeling like this is awesome because it in my 20s i started to believe that feeling like shit was just it that was like all there was to life having no purpose was all there was to life just getting by was all there was to life drinking my weekends away uh because i was so depressed was life and it wasn't and it isn't and it doesn't have to be and i hold the power to where my life is going and so do you and so that's what i share that yes i have products yes i back a company that cha- that products change my life but like i am my own person and i have my own goals and mission and purpose in life that does align with the company and the products that I originally started with because people ask me all the time what about this what about that what about that yeah I've looked into things I've I've tried almost everything out that's out there but I stand behind what I'm doing because it's what's worked for me for six fucking years. People always say like, well, does it work? Well, I'm living proof that going all in, accepting the help, accepting the support and helping others in the process has kept me on track for six years. Not perfect, but it's helped me. And I've continued to grow year after year after year. And my my mission, my hope is to give people hope in life because I was somebody who felt hopeless and I do go back and forth to moments of insanity where I'm like, oh my God, I'm, it's, it's never going to get better. And then I'm like, wait, Mindy, you have the power. You've done it before. You can do it again. Nothing's permanent unless you decide it is. And so here I am telling you, if you're watching this, if you've been watching my stuff, if you've been seeing the transformations from my friends, from my clients, like, why not you? Ask yourself that. Why not you? You deserve it. You can do it. I believe in you. We can do it together. And that is the best thing is when you don't have to do it alone, that's when the magic happens. So if you're watching this, now's your fucking time. Now is your time. Quit waiting. Quit waiting because six years has flown by in an instant. And there's been so many people who've told me, maybe, maybe tomorrow is not the right time. And six years has passed by. And they're no better off than they were when they asked me if not worse, and they still feel that way. And so why not join me? What do you have to lose? You get fit, you grow some friendships, you realize that you can do so much more than you realize you're capable of.